Ah, I've got one for you. Why do witches fly on brooms? Because vacuum cleaner cords aren't long enough. (laughs) 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 Tell me another. Tell me another. Well, have you ever heard the one about the uh, mummy and the shoe? Guys, I need your help. I reset my canvas course and I lost everything. You reset your canvas course? Did you not notice the giant red button and the warning telling you what would happen? Well, yeah, but I thought it applied to somebody else's class. I see how you would think that. Not. Let me fix it for you. Okay, so we've been contacted by the instructor, and he's told us that all of his stuff has disappeared in his class, including his grades and his students. So now we have to take the time to chastise him. Once we've sufficiently chastised the instructor, it's time for us to start work. So we need to start doing some forensics. The first thing we need to do is pay attention to what the course number is of the current course we're working in, which is 3337. So we're going to take that and make a little note. 3337. Excellent. Now, we need to determine what the course number was for the old course. So we're going to go into the instructor's activity log. Okay, we go here. Now we scroll down. Okay, 3337 is our current course. Now look, 3312 is the old course number. We can tell that kind of by looking at the time stamp that's on it. And once we've determined what that, that we are in fact looking at the old course, it's time for us to restore it. Basically what Canvas is doing in this situation is it's kind of deleting the old course and creating a new course. And then it's resetting it back to its defaults. So we go into admin tools and we're going to type in the old course number. Okay, we're going to click restore and bring the course back from the dead. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, we're not going to worry about the enrollments at this point. We're going to do that in another place. So what we want to do is go to the new course because we need to determine what students are in the course. Okay, so we're going to go to 3337. Okay, we're here. Go to grades. And then download the CSV file. Okay. Now we want to delete this new course because we are no longer in need of it. Okay, now that it's been deleted, we can open up the CSV file that we downloaded. Now, each institution is probably going to have their own method. For us, we are going to copy their login IDs. So we select them all. Yes, this course has a low enrollment, but hey, it's a summer class, and it's just a little short thing. Okay, now we're going to go into our old course, which is now our current course. Go to people, add people, we'll add the students. Very good. Now the next thing we'll do is not forget to add the instructor. Hopefully this time he's learned his lesson. Excellent. So now we want to publish the course. Okay, now what has happened is basically we've sent out a whole bunch of invites to our students. So if we really want to save the instructor some embarrassment and the students having migraines, and we can show people how much of a hero we are, we can masquerade as each student and accept the invite. Now you probably already know how to do that, so I will save you the time. One thing we might want to do is go into the course and verify that all the grades are back. So let's click grades. The grades are back, excellent. And and let's take a look at a discussion post, for instance. All right, let's see what scares you the most. 
Okay, and Sally Sue is afraid of turtles, and Billy Bob is afraid of Ferris wheels. Okay. <laughs> so it looks like all of our content is back. Now it's time for us to go ahead and leave our office, get a cup of coffee, and feel awesome about ourselves, because we've done something that Canvas said was impossible. Ah, 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 ah. There. All better. Well, uh, thanks, but uh, I've got another question. Why is my canvas interface in Chinese? Wah, wah, wah.